the side job scandal embroiling the Tories should give Labour an opening to steal their voters. However, as we've discussed on previous shows, Labour seem unwilling to come out with a strong opposition to MPs making money on the side. We now have a possible explanation. It's that Keir Starmer has been known to dabble in side jobs himself. This is a 2017 article from Labour List. At the time that article was written, Starmer was Brexit secretary and Corbyn was due to rule on whether he would be allowed to take the job. It was controversial because Sir Keir should have been busy enough in his shadow cabinet job, but also because Michon de Rea, that's the company he was going to be working for, had just represented Gina Miller in her bid to block the Brexit process would not have been a good look for Labour in 2017. Remember, they were still backing Brexit, the correct position. Ultimately, the move was blocked, but the fact Starmer was considering it was brought up in an excruciating interview this week with Sky. In 2017, you were in talks to take a consultancy job yourself with Mishkon Derea. Was the decision, was that decision wrong? Do you regret that now? I have, in fact, given up my practicing yeah, but at the point to at which you said it was lawyer. Wrong. Yeah, but at the point at which you said it was wrong, you were in talks to take a job yourself. No, I wasn't. And um, we, I was in discussion, nothing happened. Aaron, this is one of my favourite Keir Starmer clips so far. I wasn't in talks, I was in discussions. Incredibly different. Forensic. What did you make of that answer? In terms of the zeitgeist, Michael, Keir Starmer is the worst possible politician to lead the Labour Party right now in terms of his style of politics, in terms of how he relates to people, in terms of his personality, in terms of the fact that they need to win back loads of the North with a strong working class message of national renewal. And yet this is a guy who's a London lawyer, who's you know late to politics, has terrible political instincts. And I think people really under, underestimate Michael, with, with somebody like Jeremy Corbyn, the sort of slick PR stuff often didn't work. But what did work was he knew who he was. He had a set of core values and he always stuck to them. So he'd be confronted with the problem. And he said, well, Jeremy Corbyn responds to this is X. And actually on many things that was popular. So I'm not allowing Keir Starmer to have a sideline working for a massive law company when he should be an effective shadow secretary of state for Brexit, a pretty good political response. And he was very coherent. Probably, problem for Starmer is, He's not coherent because he doesn't have any backbone or principles or sort of guiding moral compass. And so he's a bit like Boris Johnson, the trolley, as he's defined by uh, Dominic Cummings, sort of varying from thing to thing. Keir Starmer is an establishment politician. So in 2017, 2018, it would have seemed perfectly fine to him to have a sideline working for Mishkon Rea because he didn't have that moral compass that Jeremy Corbyn did and does. Now, of course, it's politically inexpedient for him to say that. So he looks ridiculous. He looks hypocritical, which is the exact reason why Jeremy Corbyn became the Labour Party leader in 2015, did so impressively in 2017, is because he said, look, I'm not a politician like all the rest of them. I'm not business as usual. Starmer, if he wants to win a majority going against Tory sleeves, will have to do something similar, albeit, OK, far more palatable, but with far greater media refinement. But this really illustrates that he can't. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a very tough sell. Let's see. But I thought it was deeply embarrassing. And look, fundamentally, the guy's meant to be a lawyer, a rhetorician. And yet he contradicts himself again in the space of 10 seconds.